Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to create your very own world using Buenoverse. Have you ever thought about having an enemy to defeat in your world? In this lesson we'll learn how to create an enemy and how to defeat it by adding helpers, making throwable objects and throwers. Let's jump right in. To start, let's give our enemy some help with a help bar. To do this, we have to be on build mode, as always. Now, click an object or your enemy and go to the object menu and interactions. Select abilities and you will find health. Click on health and this will lead you to the health menu. In the health menu, you'll find an option to set the HP or health points for the enemy. Type a number and uh, let's say I want to tap uh, 30 and then that becomes your enemy's health. If you click on the advanced button right here, it will let you decide where the health bar will appear on your object. You can have a vertical offset of the health bar. Just drag the slider to adjust the vertical position. Let's click done and we will see how the health bar goes up and down depending where you want to put it. But now, what about the players? Let's make sure they have enough health to face their enemies. And here's how. You have to go to your room Click on settings and health is gonna be the last option. Click on health and here you can decide something like I want 100% health, I want 1000% health or maybe just 10. Depending on how challenging you want your world to be. Today I will choose 100, let's make it this and that's it. Now my character's health is gonna be 100. Alright, now let's make some items that will help us defeat our enemies. Let's go to the asset manager. Click on the plus button here, Asset Manager, and I'll pick a Moon Crystal from the Space Kit. Here's the Space Kit, click on the Space Kit, and choose the Moon Crystal. It's this one right here. Now to transform your object into a thrower, we're gonna have to transform that object into a component. Now choose your object, choose Create Component, and now that it's a component, you just need to go to Edit Component, and here we'll go to Interactions, abilities and make this object a collectible. A panel will pop up with some options. First you'll have a description, this is what players will see when they pick up the item, a max count per player, here you can decide how many of these crystals a player can carry, now you have auto pick, if you turn this on players can simply walk over the crystals to pick it up. That's pretty useful so I'm gonna activate it. You have to make this object equipable, we're gonna choose yes, and finally, we're gonna pick, can it be thrown? Yes. And also, one thing that I like to do in my worlds is that when you throw an object and it hits something, it's gonna get destroyed. So totally destroyed on hit on. But now, how will our players will find these collectibles? Spawn points are something really important in our worlds. I will show you how to set up a spawn point. First, let's go to the build menu. Let's click on create. And here, we have two types of spawns the player spawn and the element spawn. Let's choose element spawn and just drop it whatever you want. Once you drop it, you can choose your item to spawn. In this case, obviously, I'm gonna choose my moon crystal and here you have different menus. The quantity that it's gonna spawn, so it's gonna be one. The minimum interval the object is gonna spawn, I'm gonna set it with one second and the max interval, let's say three seconds. And that's it, we have created a throwable object. Let's click on done. And now we have created a spawn. Now one last step. Let's look at the thrower ability. This tool can help us either distribute items or damage players. For this example, let's set it to damage our character. Let's go once again to the object menu. Be sure you are in the elements, select your object, the interactions and thrower. Choose which item to throw and set the interval in which the item is gonna be thrown. Once you choose the interval, click on done and there we have it. We're gonna have enemies that will throw things at us. Now that you have everything set up, go around, play, test everything in your world to be sure everything works fine. And that's it for the player basics. Remember to follow us to stay in the loop about how to create your very own world using Buenoverse. See you around!